Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. Getting ready for the olive harvest, and uh, we need somewhere to put the oil. So I've got to take the mucky old containers that we've been uh, using to keep the oil in last year, and uh, most of them are now empty. And we're going to add in some of this um, caustic soda and uh, then we're going to pour in a load of uh, hot water and this will sizzle away and make a crude form of olive soap which will clean out all the grot from the container. Uh, obviously eye protection and uh, the old rubber gloves because you don't want caustic soda in your eyes and when you shake it up and down like this you see that thing puff up increases the pressure so there's hot caustic soda in there hence all the safety precautions uh, and also it gets hot ow cleans it up good though eh then of course we uh, we rinse it out because nobody really wants their olive oil tasting of caustic soda. I've devised a highly scientific test to determine whether all traces of uh, caustic soda have been removed from the container. Yeah, that's clean. With any luck, we'll uh, need two or three more of these, um, so I'd best get the kettle on, eh? While in large doses this stuff will kill you, and this isn't food grade, uh, it is used in some foodstuffs, like uh, white hominy grits uh, and making sultanas go yellow. Also, I've got to clean out seven bins for our half tonne of olives. Yeah, I've got to get the olive picking machinery oiled up as well, but the most important thing we need is about three days of really good weather, and sunsets looking pretty good at the moment. A little bit of sun coming out just when I start filming to show you how damp and soggy the olive grove is. Uh, we're going to try again tomorrow. Bit cold and damp this morning. Weather's not too bad for the next couple of days though, so let's get on with the olive. And of course, not forgetting all the safety gear, because safety is a factor. Olives weigh about 0.6 kilos per litre, got just over 800 litres worth of storage. So uh, yeah, that should give us about half a tonne. The little olives that give our oil such a great flavour, unfortunately, Wherever the wind got to the trees, they're absolutely bare. And when you move into under shelter, we get them. Unfortunately, not many in shelter. So it looks like this year the wind effect is giving us great crops on the leeward side of big trees, which are really awkward to reach with the picking tool. So if you've not seen our picking tool, uh, this bit in the middle here bounces up and down and those hands shake in and out, those are carbon fibre tines so they take some breaking and they're fairly flexible and all the way down the end of this pole is the biggest portable motor that still make and the whole thing is quite effective at showering the neighbourhood with olives and here we are, first bin of olives uh, <laughs> 18 more to go. Yes, I wonder what the dogs found. Oh, sorry about the shaky camera vision, by the way. Um, I've broken my selfie stick. <laughs> So the problem we have is that the olives are mixed with pine needles, which make your olive oil taste like turpentine. So, to separate it out, we have contrived um, the leaf blower on a table um, which blows ah, more olives coming through. Yep. 
which blows the olives um, well it doesn't blow the olives it blows all the leaves over there and we get to keep the olives without that wonderful turpine tiny flavor this requires pouring it from bucket to bucket and it's most amusing to watch We managed to break off one of these uh, rake tines. Uh, fortunately, I've uh, got a few spares. So that didn't hold us up much. When we've got the last of it in, that'll be a thousand litres of olives. Um, if you want to know how much oil that is, well, place your guess in the comments or click on this little icon thing here and subscribe, and we'll tell you next week. With the help of some friends, that's the olive harvest. For 2019 done and dusted but uh, for now that's your lot down on Geeko Farm